little fire going. Nice, crisp, cool, clear evening. Real cool for 1st of April around here. Try a little uh, Dutch oven cooking. And I think we'll uh, do a meatloaf with a twist. I'm going to try it barbecue style. So here's what we've got going on here. Not the channel locks. We've got a little over a pound of hot fresh pork sausage. Sweet bell, orange. Thought I'd do that for a little color. Got us an onion. Got to have the onion. We've also got a little over a pound of ground round. Should, uh, should do well. So the twist is, instead of oatmeal or breadcrumbs, we'll try it with pork skins. Good old hog skins. Pork rinds. Gotta love them. And for a little added flavor, I thought we'd do a few little small chunks. Not much cheese in it, but just a hint of cheese here and there for a special bite. Um, so that should uh, kick things up just a notch. And the grocery store I went to, they don't have a lot of special stuff. So here's what we've got. Slow simmered hickory smoke barbecue sauce and dip from Kraft. We'll try it. See what happens with it. We may like it. We may not. <clears throat> so, but anywho, let me get the fire kicked up. And uh, I've got a bunch of brush from the storms from yesterday. I'm trying to get picked up before it gets dark. And I'll bring y'all back here soon. Okay. Well, all right. What I've added to the equation here, something I meant to say that I was going to do earlier, is... A little bit of this stuff, and of course an egg. Figured I'd try the Parmesan cheese, think I'm gonna do about a quarter cup. And I've got my pork skins mixed up or ground up semi-well. I'm gonna try them kind of coarse like that because it may turn to mush. It's just an experiment. I have no clue, so probably half the bag is what I'm figuring that was my plan on using. The Velveeta is for some homemade mac and cheese. We'll get that going here shortly also. So I'll bring you back when I get everything put in the bowl. Man, oh man. She's cooking. I can hear it. It's sizzling. It's doing good. It is doing good. So, that being said, it's time to kind of kick back and relax. Mac and cheese. I, I could have sat over there with the fire and uh, I could have got it, I could have got it boiling because I was doing it in the Stanley uh, camp cook pot. But uh, I threw it in, I'm gonna do it inside and uh, I'm at least gonna boil the noodles inside. I may um, bring it out here and make it a little bit more authentic. You know, uh, melt the cheese stuff in it let her get a little smoke on it but it's over there sizzling my firewood's just man it's just too wet i didn't have anything covered up uh, uh, some of it's big sycamore is dead back here behind behind me and, and uh so um big top of it blew out yesterday in the storms and uh so it's a little bit of sycamore, just kind of keep the fire going. My hardwood, got some hickory limbs and stuff that I've been tossing in there. Uh, my split wood, didn't have much down here. I could have went up to the sawmill and got some, but I didn't. It's lazy. It's late in the afternoon. Want to get this, want to get this going. So that being said, I hear there's something you have to do about middle of your video. So let me let me do this here. Hmm. Wow. Oh, it's backwards. It's backwards. 
Oh no, it is backwards. I bet it's still, I bet it, it doesn't drink backwards. Not at all. Boosh. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. And look, it's in a bottle. Just to put the label on the dang thing backwards. Awfully good. Awfully good. So. Yeah. Uh, April 4th. Dogwood right here beside me. It's got some little buds coming out on it. Everything's budding out. I've actually got uh, pepper plants, tomato plants. Um, we got some onion slips or onion slips. It's onions I'm not worried about. I think there's a cauliflower, something else. I'm not doing the big garden across the creek this year. Uh, doing some small straw bell, or not straw bell, I'm on the farm, hay bale, uh, beds, and uh, kind of keep it small this year and kind of expand this area over here by the house. So, I'm going to go from there with it and see. It's a pretty night. The enough rain. Last night, got about an inch. Um, it's got a uh, got the creek grunting good. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but it's uh, that's not the wind blowing, just a white light wind. That's the creek you hear. Oh, uh, don't see the moon. It was a full moon a couple of nights ago, so uh, have to go from there. I've got a uh, a Coleman lantern. I bought at an auction. Looks to be a brass tank one. Cleaned it up the other day. It doesn't have any paint on the tank. It's a 220D. Um, everything, plunger felt good in it. And, uh, you know, of course the thing's probably been setting forever. Had fuel in it. Uh, but apparently had real Coleman fuel. It smelt good. Dumped it out. Wasn't any trash in it. But I thought, man, I mean, the mantles on it, or it's still got mantles on it. And I thought the mantles were probably as old as I was. I was going to kick it off tonight and uh, have it sitting here on the table as mood lighting, but I uh, uh, couldn't get her going. It's one of the ones with the screws that hold the, got the flathead screws that hold the uh, uh, plunger in. I got one of them that went, doesn't want to turn, and all I had was bigger screwdrivers here, so carry it back up to the shop tomorrow, do some surgery. Um, Could have went up. I got a brand new one still in the box. Uh, dual fuel. I should have went and should have got it, but I thought I'd be nostalgic. I figured this one right here would fire off. I actually bought two lanterns that that day at the auction a couple of months ago. There's another one. Don't even know what it is. What model is Coleman? Of course, it's still in its box, but it looks like it's from the 70s. Also, uh, I'll have to give her a shout. And see what uh, see what it'll do. I didn't get it out of the box. Anywho, bring you back here in a few minutes. Finish this fine bush backwards. Doesn't drink backwards. It drinks just the same. Well, she's cooking away. You get the light to see that there's actually a... You can kind of see the bale and everything there. It's really messing with the camera. Fire is. But i tell you what, it's cool. Definitely is cool. I'm telling you, it's real cool. So, yeah, it's got uh, it's cooled off enough that I had to move from the chair over here, the other side of the table, to so don't stick firewood here by the fire. Ruined me, you know, 82 degrees yesterday and. Well, I'd show up on camera, but I haven't had to put my beer in the uh, in the fridge. Everything's sizzling away in there. Oops. 
Sorry. So, uh, I'm, uh, hoping everything's cooking, cooking good. Turned it once, didn't turn the lid because I hadn't kept a lot of fire on the lid. I haven't had a lot of fire to, uh, put on the lid. Um, getting a few coals. I picked it up, I raked some coals underneath it. Put a few uh, burning chunks on top of it. And uh, kind of went from there with it. So, uh, we'll kind of uh, check her here in a few minutes. It's probably been on 30 minutes now, so probably pull the lid off of it at uh, 45 minutes. and Give her a look, see, see how things are going. It's got a lot of fire to one side of it. Um, so I'll probably turn it a quarter turn next go around and uh, see if I can't get a few more coals on the lid. And what I'm figuring is let it get pretty much done and drain the grease off. I didn't top it yet. I kind of want it to brown some and then uh, just like you would a regular meatloaf and then we'll top it some more barbecue sauce and let her go for I'll see if I can't rake me up a bunch of coals then to kind of caramelize that uh, barbecue sauce a little bit and let her go be back soon so well, my light sucks but as you can see here maybe now you can't do it but you can tell that there is a Dutch oven in there maybe and sitting on top of it is the mac and cheese coming up slow i'll go get my headlamp here in a minute and uh go from there i did pull the lid sorry i didn't turn the camera on to catch it but uh it uh was was looking good really cooking good with that uh store-bought or store in-store made sausage uh, wasn't a lot of fat in it and I got a ground round didn't say if it was 80 20 or whatever but it was real red as you can see in the earlier in the video and it's not making a tremendous amount of grease so let's get the fingers crossed I have a sneaky feeling it's going to be good it sure does smell good so bring you back in a few man oh man check that out good get us a little pepper going here mm -mm 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 -mm. got our pepper gotta get one of these guys here get it in a shot man check out the color of those mushroom or bell peppers mmm man It is really good. Check this out here. Got a little crispy, but I tell you what, it ain't hurting a thing. Mm. So, got everything here. About everything we need. Bush backwards again. I tell you what. Man, that's good. Man, that is good. Get it back in the shot here. Try a little of this macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Nothing beats making it yourself, you know. I don't do the box stuff. Delicious. It's a good bite of good bite here of this look at it mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. This is bell pepper man that's good man that is good well I got things to do a big plate of food to eat here um, 
here in the next few videos. Try some different stuff. Uh, that'd be a surprise. But I'm trying to do some different stuff that you don't see some of the other guys doing. I may, you may come back and say, well, so-and-so did this. They may have, and I just hadn't seen it. There's some really good content on uh, campfire cooking. Of course, you know, hats off to a lot of guys. Calvin's Corner, of course, Bill Gotti, and all these guys. But uh, try to do a, try to come up with some different stuff here. That's what uh, my plan is with my videos. and Maybe my video quality will get a little better, too. But, hey, video quality may suck. Beer's good. Food's good. Thanks, guys, for watching.